Okay, um, continuing with application, and uh, the topic is that will require two parts here. Um, one of which is uh, pretty much purely uh, technical, and another that has some security implications, but is mostly marketing. Anyways, the overall topic, theme, for these functions is quality assurance. Uh, the term quality assurance, uh, sorry, uh, quality of service, uh, make sure that I get that right, because of course we always talk about computer assurance and quality assurance, and anyways, quality of service um, in technical terms has to do with um, latency and jitter. Um, latency is the delay. Uh, how long it takes from transmitting a packet to where it gets to the destination. Um, jitter is the variation in latency. That is, um, when you have a number of packets, which may be a stream, which may be a file, which may be uh, parts of a block, parts of a larger packet, um, they uh, may take different amounts of time to arrive. <clears throat> now, the uh, the quality of the service of networking and transmission um, can be impacted by both of these things. But generally speaking, different types of applications are going to react differently. And, and the, the service, the importance of control for latency or jitter is going to vary depending on what it is that you're doing. For example, um, if you have a consistent uh, delay, uh, then you've got latency, but essentially you've got no jitter. Now, I, um, when I was out uh, teaching around the world, one particular place I was calling home uh, to let Gloria know that I had arrived safely, um, and particularly in this particular situation, that might have been uh, quite a concern for her. And uh, the uh, service, the long-distance phone service, was over a, a satellite link rather than um, undersea cables. And although people tend to have a thing that, you know, anything to do with satellites is better than cables, um, in terms of uh, latency in telephone communications, it's a lot worse. Um, because you're hitting a geostationary uh, orbit satellite that's 36,000 miles away um, so between that and the fact that it has to go down to uh, a receiving our station and then get put onto the phone lines to complete the phone call um, that means that the um, the latency the delay is at least half a second and possibly a second. Now, that doesn't sound like much, but I'll tell you, <laughs> for a phone conversation, um, that really uh, can be annoying. You have to do things like uh, old-time radio communications where, uh, you know, <laughs> over so that... People know that I have stopped talking now. Uh, and once you hear that, you can start replying. Because very often people uh, will, uh, you know, start replying while you're still talking. 
uh, because of the delay. It's um, it's quite difficult uh, to handle that for for human beings, and uh, it was interesting how much trouble. Even you know, I of course knew what was going on, and even Gloria, you know, I had explained to her uh, even at the beginning of the phone call. You know, this is a satellite call, so we're going to have a lot of delays. So be careful. Um, it uh, even so was uh, uh, quite difficult for us to carry on a conversation. And, and when you are dealing with an interactive situation, particularly voice, but even in terms of a data interactive situation, latency can be an issue. Now, it's definitely going to be more of an issue when it's a, a live phone call uh, than when you're just dealing with a terminal. But even on a terminal, we're, we're pretty much used to uh, pretty much instantaneous responses. So, um, yeah... It's annoying. Now, um, the other aspect, jitter, um, is, well, I, it can really mess up if, if you're dealing with uh, a live phone call, yes. But um, if you are dealing with a streaming situation, as mentioned before, the latency of a of a streaming situation really doesn't matter as long as it's consistent. But if there's jitter, if, if packets arrive out of sequence, um, you're going to get uh, frames out of order in, in terms of presenting video. You are going to get um, possibly parts of frames either not arriving or arriving out of order. Um, and so you're, you're going to get... Um, you know, at times when the screen is, is flickering all over the place because it doesn't have all the data to present the entire frame. Um, so, uh, again, here, um, you know, this is, is going to be a, a big issue. Now, dealing with, with data applications, um, is it, systems are going to be more tolerant of both latency and jitter because... Um, you know, like uh, the transport layer, you know, you've got uh, reordering, repackaging, sequencing, um, reassembly um, that can be handled better in terms of data application. It just waits until we've got all the information and, and then we go. Um, but um, it is something to consider. And remember, you know, what type of application it is that you want to deal with, what, what type of work that you want to do um, when we're dealing with these two.